Yo, what's going on guys? Evan Tanaka here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to tell you guys which of the new flash cards are worth to pick up for your squads, tell you guys which are the better cards from the set, and which are kind of the cards to stay away from in the set, and just going over the overall set as well. If you guys are new here, I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe down below. I post three to four my team videos every single day and give you guys some of the best my team content on the platform. Without further ado, let's get on. The video so guys the headliners of the set are opal jordan opal and bead opal chris paul we got pink diamond jeremy lynn pink diamond lamar odin we got diamond tony kukoc lou williams amethyst i'm not even gonna try to pronounce that darren collison and then uh, ruby Su suduke dmba i just mess it up completely and then ruby devin vassal so look at devin vassal first start from the bottom work our way up shooting guard small forward six foot five six foot ten wingspan is he glitched no he's not so he's got 89 three ball 88 mid-range 88 speed 88 acceleration pretty solid defense okay driving dunk decently with the ball does he have quicker shifty fundamental dribble saw on a six foot five shooting guard I mean, he's, he's all right. Is he worth picking up? I just don't think he's really going to play for most people's teams. Uh, he's solid, though. Um, he's okay. He's got 42 gold badges for a ruby. He's solid. This card, I think, might be actually pretty good. Power for it, small for it, 6'8", 6'10", wingspan. He is glitched. I'm assuming in the three-point. I'm not sure, though. I'm pretty sure three-point, but he's got 88 three-ball, 82 mid-range, 89 speed, 89 acceleration, 84 interior, 85 perimeter, 83 steel, 85 blocks. So an all-around pretty good defender, 90 driving dunk, 85 standing dunk, has pretty good rebounding, can handle the ball pretty well, has gold chase on his clamps, hustler, interceptor, has gold bullet pass or glue hands, quick first step, comes with some pretty good gold shooting badges, blinders, catch and shoot, dead eye, green machine, limitless spot up, sniper, all on gold, jump shot, Honestly, Aaron Gordon's release isn't the best, but I don't think it's a terrible jump shot. I think I I think, I think this card is definitely worth it to pick up um, if you're running like a budget team, right? He's not going to play on like the best team in the game, of course, right? But Devin Vassell wouldn't really recommend, but this card definitely going to say is worth it for budget players, right? Because the Amethyst and Rubies are more for budget players. Darren Collison, point guard, shooting guard, six foot tall, six foot three wingspan, nine three ball, nine two mid range. But the one thing I can tell you guys, slasher dribble style on a six foot point guard that can't dunk, plays okay defense. Like, I know he's not even glitched. So, to me, guys, this card's not worth it at all. He's a slasher point guard that has that slasher point guard that's six foot tall. I mean, and, and can't dunk. So, this guy, big dribble style, but how tall is he? He's a power forward center, 6'11, 7 foot wingspan, 93 ball, 84 mid range, 80 speed, 80 acceleration. Defense is all right. You definitely would want a little bit more defensively, but wise, but he's got Hall of Fame core specialist, gold catch and shoot, green machine, La Hots 100, limitless spot up and sniper, all in gold, which is nice. I think this card's solid. Um, for budget teams, maybe he's worth it to pick up, but really these Amethyst and Rubies, this drop weren't the best. But Lou Williams, he is glitched. I think he could be not terrible. Um, point guard shooting guard, six of a one, six of a four wingspan, but he has quick dribble style, which is nice, and a pretty good jump shot. Um, defensively wise, yeah, that's the main thing I want to check out. He's got 95 perimeter, 96 lateral, and 95 steel with Hall of Fame clamps and pickpockets on the perimeter. He's an amazing defender. 95 speed, 86 speed with balls, so super good stuff there. Can't really dunk that well, but I think he'll be fine. 95 speed. 95 acceleration as well as having 90 in the three point and 90 in the mid range overall i think it's a solid point guard a solid budget point guard he might be a little bit small six foot one i know donovan mitchell is six foot one but donovan mitchell also has a six foot ten wingspan and has like 80 interior and 80 blocks so that is kind of the difference between the, um, him him, and Donovan Mitchell. But I still think this card will be a budget point guard that you can definitely run. Um, and, and I think you can get away with him being six foot one. Tony Kukoc here from the Chicago Bulls. We all know played with Michael Jordan in those, you know, Jordan era days. But he's small for a power forward, six foot ten, seven foot two wingspan. To me, Kukoc isn't really a good card till later in the year because, again, he can't dribble. And otherwise, I think Tony Kukoc early in the year is just an overall decent card. But he gives you really nothing amazing, right? He's a good three point shooter. He's decent. Decently fast, he plays decent defense, he can decently drive the ball, he decently can handle the ball, he's a decent rebounder, maybe a little bit, but a little bit above average rebounder, but I feel like this late, not this late into the year, but we're already almost in February, right? If you're going to play on people's teams, you kind of need to have that like X factor, like you need to be a really good defender, a really good, you know, playmaker, can dunk the ball, you know what I mean? Like you got to be like, I mean, you honestly have to do everything to be honest, um, but a super, at a super high level where he does everything kind of at an average level to a bit above average level, but like the top cards in the game do everything at an above average level. I think again, if you want to use him on a budget team, he's six foot one eleven, six foot ten small forward. Hey, you want to run a tall lineup small forward? I'm not gonna blame you. Lamar Odom, he could be solid. He's not glitched, but he could definitely be solid. Small forward, power forward, six foot ten, six foot eleven wingspan. The main thing I want to check out is see he's got better driving dunk. Defense is a lot more solid. 90 steel, 85 block. He's a little bit faster, 88 speed, 80 acceleration, but they're kind of like the same card. Um, I mean, he's gonna obviously be better. He's got some pretty good dribble uh, playmaking wise. He's not glitched, is he? He's not, but he has Hall of Fame ankle breaker, downhill, hyperdrive, quick chain, quick first step. Has Hall of Fame chase on ours, gold ball shipper, clamps, interceptor, intimidator, pick dodger, post 
post lockdown rebound chaser pretty solid there 85 sweep ball 86 ball handle he's a great overall card he's definitely better than that tony ku coach just because of the fact that um just because of the fact that he is just a he's just above average at most stats and the big thing i noticed is he has paul George, paul george dribble style which honestly is pretty good because that pink diamond Paul George can definitely move on offense and he has Paul George release, which is super, super good. So I think his Lamar Odom card is definitely going to be worth it. I think he should be pretty cheap as well. So I think he'll definitely be worth it to pick up. Now, Jeremy Lin, this is a big card we all want to see. He has quick dribble style. He has shifty dribble style. Okay, that's nice to see. Stats wise, 91 three ball, 88 mid range, 95 speed, 95 acceleration. Defensively, really good. I'm pretty sure he's glitched in the defensive. He's got 80 interior, 80 blocks. That's good for a point guard. 96 perimeter, 95 lateral, 95 steel has an 85 driving hook, 95 speed with ball 86 ball handle good passing stats hall of fame clamps in intimidator menace pick dodger pickpocket has hall of fame or not has gold hustler interceptor off ball pass you can give him every defensive badge in the game has hall of fame floor general gold ankle breaker bullet passer dimer glue hands hail for days hyper drive quick chain quick first step stop and go tight handle so really good stuff there has hall of fame catch and shoot but then has like every other good gold badge every other good shooting badge on gold except you want to give him a little spot but other than that has a sniper has blinders has chef has corn specialist has dead eye has a green machine has hot zone hunter has hot zones from pretty much all around the three-point line finishing wise has hall of fame acrobat fearless finisher gold giant slayer lobster finisher posterizer super good stuff there like i said earlier has that shifty dribble style his release is pretty solid honestly Jeremy Lin might be tough i'm not gonna lie Jeremy Lin, i think it's gonna be worth it he looks to be a top point guard in the game i'm not gonna lie to you he looks kind of tough. Looking at Chris Ball here, we'll look at his NBA 75 version. Six foot tall, six foot four wingspan, obviously point guard, shooting guard. I mean, stats and badges are just going to be amazing, right? Like, obviously, it's Chris Ball, right? Really fast, solid defender on the perimeter, 95 driving dunk, so he's glitched in the driving dunk, which is super nice to have. Um, dribble style, Chris Paul, I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure. Is that a good dribble style? I guess we'll have to find out, right? If that's like a quicker shifty dribble style. Jump shot, not terrible. Not the best jump shot. To me, Chris Ball cards are never just really worth it. Um... I mean, has Hall of Fame Bolt, Ball Stripper, Clamps, Interceptor, Menace, Pickpocket, Hall of Fame Dimer, Floor Drive, Quick First Step, Hall of Fame Catch and Shoot, Limitless Spot at Mismatch Expert, and Sniper. Like, I think he could play on some people's teams. I don't think he'll be, like, good enough in a competitive setting. But if you want to go into Unlimited and just have fun with the card, I definitely think he can suit that play style. But I don't expect anybody to be really really running that card in a competitive setting. Now, this Joel Embiid card, guys, I checked out quickly. Man, he looks to be, a, he looks to be probably the best honestly maybe the best center in the game so uh, center position seven foot tall seven foot five wingspan has 88 three ball 92 mid-range 85 speed 85 acceleration 90 vertical which is super nice to have it on bead 95 interior 95 block 94 block sorry but they gave him an 85 steel which is super nice to have it on bead i'm pretty sure his pink diamond one had like I'm pretty sure his pink diamond one literally had like a 43 steel. Has 80 perimeter, 85 steel, like I said, so that's pretty good. 85 driving dunk, 95 standing dunk. Even can handle the ball a little bit for center. 78 ball handle, 81 smooth ball. Great rebounder. We look at the Hall of Fame defensive badges. Has box, brick wall, interceptor, intimidator, post lockdown. Or sorry, pogo stick, post lockdown, rim protector, talus defender. Can get gold, or has gold chaser on his clamps. Menace, hustler, rebound chaser, right? Really good defensively. Hall of Fame, or not for Hall of Fame. Gold bullet passer, gold glue hands, gold quick first step. Has some pretty good shooting badges on hall of fame catch and shoot corn specialist and set shooter comes with a gold dead eye green machine hot zone hunter sniper he has hot zones pretty much around most of the three-point line he can get blinders he can get limitless spot up two badges i'd really recommend adding and Embiid's jump shot is usually pretty good so honestly i think Embiid probably a top two top three center in the game somewhere in that range that means either a guy like yao ad or kp are gonna drop in the list i think right now top for me, top centers in the game is Yao Ming, Anthony Davis, and then Joel Embiid. For me, I think this card is going to take Kristaps Porzingis' place on my team. So definitely worth it to pick up Joel Embiid. Looking at Michael Jordan. Now, if you're a big fan of Michael Jordan, click off. No, I'm kidding. Um, it's just like Michael Jordan in this game really just isn't that good early game. I mean, he has that slash and dribble style, which just really hurts him. I mean, he's still a great 3 and D card, right? Michael Jordan, really good perimeter defender, even pretty good on the interior. Super fast, can handle the ball pretty well, can dunk amazingly, has a decent uh, like 86 three ball, 96 mid range. Just Michael Jordan cards just never really move that good on offense, like with the slash or dribble style. So it's definitely going to limit him on offense. I mean, he'll still be a good card, uh, but again, it's Michael Jordan, so he's going to go for what 300k plus when there's you know clay thompson galax opal there's um there's Kawhi leonard there's terry dishinger who are just much better shooting guards that's mike then this michael jordan who will probably be like one third or one fourth of his price so i mean he's still a good card uh, but will he play for most teams probably not because again terry dishinger is 70 80k and is much better than this michael jordan card but yeah i hope you guys did enjoy me going through and ranking all the uh, or not ranking but just going through and tell you guys which cards are worth it to pick up hope you guys enjoy and catch you guys in the next one peace